30 million people in the United States will have sinusitis. Most of the time, a sinus infection is self-limited. It will go away on its own. It may take seven to 10 days, but it's gone. It's out of there. Symptoms are usually congested nose, blowing out yellow or green, pressure, fullness, sometimes fever, sometimes not. Chronic sinus infection, somebody that's having chronic pain, chronic obstruction, chronic discolored exudate that lasts five or six weeks or even longer, two months, or they have an infection, they get treated, it gets better, comes right back. People that are having chronic recurrent sinusitis. They go to see the doctor, the doctor wants to get an x-ray. The old fashioned, just routine sinus x-rays are almost obsolete. You really cannot tell what's going on in the sinuses without a CT scan of the sinus. There are little ethmoid sinuses, little P-shaped sinuses right by the bridge of the nose. Most infections, sinus infections start right there and then end up in the big cheek sinuses or in the forehead sinuses or there's a sinus in the middle of the head. If you're having chronic sinusitis, then the doctor, or you think you are, a CT scan will tell the doctor what's going on in the sinus. Nothing else except that CT scan will really tell what's going on in the sinuses. If there's chronically blocked sinuses, then perhaps three weeks or even four weeks of an antibiotic, it'll take that long to clear that infection. A repeat CT scan will show if that's cleared or not. If it's cleared, Great. If it hasn't cleared, you may have to have endoscopic windows. That's surgery. You usually go in like a Thursday, get operated on, go out, go home that night, back to work on a Monday. The old surgery, you had black eyes and packs that doesn't happen anymore. So they just open up the drainage holes so that those chronic sinus infections can drain adequately. Chronic sinus infection, get the x-ray. The x-ray will tell the doctor what to do.